What's the challenge and challenge? Juice Phoenix Games here. Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In the last episode, we made it right here to the mountain tower. And in today's episode, we are going to go through this place. I'm also going to take off my arrows because that is something I. Like, that is a waste of arrows, Joe. This place you can. Uh, is all about switch passes and it's rather interesting that we're playing like this because you know this is not mario this is it's time to use switch palaces as a thing so it's gonna be interesting you need to die is that the red ones are able to throw their bones about the place You know, if I'm going to hit you, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you, no matter what. Oh, ball pop. Die. Okay. Now. There we go. And I got a key. Yay. Oh. Oh, of course, yes. Of course. That is a thing. Now you can't get out. But I can. And of course, can I? Yep, there we go. That's what I need to do now. So, it is I, Sari R, the Elder. I have some advice in the dungeons. You can gaze into the magic mirror and re return to the entrance at any time. Do not forget this. Oh, that is actually pretty cool. That is pretty cool if you get lost in the dungeon. That is pretty cool that if you get lost in the dungeon, you can always return to the beginning of said dungeon by uh, using the magic mirror. That is pretty cool. What's in this chest? It's the map! Yay! I found the map. Found the map. Okay, so using the key to go down, what am I going to find here? Oh, it's one of one of those rooms. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry I went quiet there. I really don't like those rooms. Rooms where the where the floor try where the floor is trying to destroy you. Oh, I got killed. It's okay. I have fairies. It's okay. I have fairies. My day is not done. Come on, one more. There we go. Okay. Really? Okay. So there is a door here. I didn't realize. That I didn't see the door first hand. Is this the room with the big chest? Because I feel like this would be a room with a big chest. There we go, you die. And a boomerang counts as a hit. And you can die too. And now, if I light the plinths, will a, will a chest appear? A little chest appears with the big key. A 
And now, and that's a big magic meter test. And there's a little magic meter test. Well, pot, middle magic pot, and there's a big magic pot. Can I hit this and then go back into the room? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, so that is floor number two. Rather done, uh, done rather nicely. Trying to figure out where I need to go now. Uh, can I throw a bomb? Yeah, I think I might have to use that magic mirror idea. Because I couldn't figure out a way to get back to the beginning of the uh, dungeon. And I needed to get back to the, the beginning of the dungeon. These totally see things are... Uh, they're interesting, but like they they can be annoying to deal with. But they're actually quite easy to deal with once I get a special item, but like I don't have that special item just yet. Oh, that's a thing. Yeah, that's a thing too. I totally forgot they can push you through uh, barriers so you go underneath Really easily push you through barriers, so you have to go. F you have to go back to the start of the dungeon. The second one's rather easy to kill, that because you just pot it. Oh yeah, I can be. I can just make a run for it. I can just make a run for it, and that's. That is so much easier to do. Oh, I almost had it. I'm gonna be using my fair my second fairy rather quickly. And now I'm all the way back over here again. God damn it! I had to use my magic mirror the last time to get back over there. I'm going to have to do it again because I still can't figure out how to get over there. That's kind of annoying. I really don't like that. That's kind of annoying. Please stop doing... Please stop putting me down. There we go. Okay, you're dead. And if I, I can throw a pot at you, because pots are dangerous. I always use uh, these uh, switches as a weapon. There we go. Both of them dead rather easily, and. That's actually not a bad way of dealing with them. Just randomly start firing your uh, uh, sword. Because they'll just end up dying eventually. So it's not a bad way of dealing with them. There. Ah, nice. And what is up these stairs? Okay, so there's a pot. And 
you can die. And I've got another 20 rupees. Oi. Yep, there we go. You died. And there's the compass. I don't like this fire, Mon. There we go. And I can see the big chest. I can see the big chest. I can't get to the big chest just yet. Not just yet. I'll take the two rupees, I'll take the two blue rupees and two green rupees as well. I will take them both. Let's see what's up here. Oh, it's the shield thing. Okay, you don't die. You don't die. But you also don't leave me alone. Damn. You wouldn't leave me alone. I think the red ones you actually do have to use the special item in this game, the special item to deal with. But I don't have the special item yet. But I will, I will get the special item. The special item is, I think it's, I think the hammer is here. Really? Did I catch you in a moving animation so I didn't actually kill you? Okay, let's hit my green rupee and go. There we go. Kill the turd, uh, kill this, kill the shuckle. There we go. Always reference Pokemon, Jeff. <laughs> Show remnants of a true Pokertuber. They will always reference Pokemon, no matter where he goes. No matter what LP he, he does. Even if it's not Pokemon, he'll still reference Pokemon. And that's Joe. That is Joe's PH Games. A true Pokertuber through and through. I really wish these pots would, like, have heart, more hearts in them. I really do. You can die through, through me throwing a pot at you. And you can just die. And you can just die. And we can go up here. Okay, I'm... Um, I am back.
Okay, see, that looks like it's a thing. But it's not a thing. Oh, this is the boss. I am a little worried about facing you, boss, but there's a definite thing I can do. Hang on, if I fall down, there must be a way I can fall down into the place where I can get the uh, where I can get it. Yeah, that's that's a strategy. That is an interesting strategy to get the item. There must be a way to fall down into there. What if I fall down the big one? No. Nope. Okay. Can I fall down? Like, can I use a switch to move? Uh, fall down points. Can I fall down here? I can, but I fall on the switch. That's not cool. I fell on the switch. That's. I was there. I was. Damn, because you can't move for a couple of seconds after you, uh... Okay, can I... Maybe try and fight fall on the... the uh, just, uh, yeah, there you go. A few, few bits before the switch, and I... I fell... I fell again. And I'm going to fall again. I have to fall again now. Because of where all the puzzles were, I have to I had to fall again. Okay, got my heart back at least. And you can go down there, and then you can die by a falling pot. Ah, straight up avoid. Okay. If I go around the pot, you won't be able to get me. Okay. And now you can die as well. Get my magic and go up to the third floor. Four four, sorry. Okay, you can die. And you can die. There's another one here. You can die. And you can, and the other one can die as well. And now, I just want to go and get my pot. I just want to go and get the big prize. Okay, I have to push the switch then. Oh, damn it. I was so close to getting there. I can do this. This one's not as hard as the previous ones. I died a lot. But it's not as hard as the previous ones. Clear all the bot clear the boss and uh, clear the room. Run away. And you can 
die and or fall down. Straight up avoid. Get past and there we go. I'm back up here on floor number four. I mean, I did get, I did kill that guy, but it's not the way I wanted to kill him. And then he can die. Right, I am back up on the floor. I have somehow hit my wallet cap. And, oh, I was so close to landing on a, a bit where it didn't have a switch. So close to landing on it. I've got to, la I've got to go from above, that means. I've got to fall from above. I found the moon pearl. Okay, so that's what the big item was here. Moon Pearl, it's not the hammer. So now I will stay in my true form when I go to the mirror world. Which is good. That is actually a really good thing to stay in my true form during the going to the mirror world. Now, I could probably do with facing the boss, but I kind of need to change the lights, the switch palace. Kind of need to change the switches. But this floor, these two floors do not have switch palaces. So I have to go all the way back down to the other floor to change the switches. In order to get to the switch palace, I have to do that. And now I can go. Okay, now I can go up these steps. And I guess it's time to go and face the boss. Can I actually get into a, into a heart before we go and get the boss? There we go. Okay, now I can face the boss. Oh, it's you! Okay. You are a scary boss for me to be facing. It's the it's sort of Dunspars. Massive Dunspars. That's what it is, it's massive Dunspars and massive Dunspars kind of scary. I'm going to try and, I guess I'm going to try and attempt to do this with three hearts. Five hearts. Okay, I'm going to, that's all I'm going to attempt. I'm not, I'm not going to attempt to try and get more hearts. Actually, you know what? I'll try and attempt to get more hearts. Right, I am back at max hearts. Let's do this. You gotta hit his tail. This is the sit floor. Gotta hit his tail. That's what you gotta do.
if I remember correctly, you got hit his tail. Was it bombs that you need to be in with? Joe, it is I, sorry, uh, the elder, an orb known as the Moon Pearl, rests in this tower. He who holds the Moon Pearl will be collected and will be protected, and his form will not change in the Dark World. You must find it and escape the tower. Do not forget the Moon Pearl. I have it, I have the Moon Pearl. But now I've got, to, I've got to kill the boss to get the uh, pendant. But I'm not sure exactly how to kill this boss. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how to kill this boss. It's a, it's a very annoying boss, is this one, but like, I'm not exactly sure how to kill it. Right. Let's just go for it again. Bombs don't seem to be the way to do it with this. Uh, I don't think arrows would work. Now I gotta stop falling down the holes. That's one thing I gotta stop doing. I gotta stop falling down the holes and I holes. I mean this boss isn't annoying as in it's going to kill you. This boss is annoying in it's going it's just going to annoy you by force uh, by pushing you down holes in the floor, which is gonna make which is gonna make you spend like half uh half the episode trying to get back to him. That's what this boss is all about. See what I mean? Question is, how do I kill him? How do I kill him? Do I actually have an item which can do damage to him? Because I will try this a couple more times before I end off today's episode. Okay, you don't want to fall through the big hole because it just makes you end up falling back two hot two floors, and then you end up having to get spend a lot of time to try and get back to it. Right, I am back again. God damn it! I hate this thing. Would arrows help in this situation? I need him to move away from the entrance, uh, from the boss, uh, from the entrance sway, so I can actually get down there. I am very bad with this boss. Absolutely a really bad boss for me to be facing. I am going to kill him though. I fell down the middle, didn't I? Yep, I fell down the middle. God damn it. I 
I will get this right. There we go. Okay, I'm back again. Stop kill it. Stop making me fall down holes, please. For the love of God, I s need you to stop making me fall down holes. actually doing damage well he did actually want to do damage to me ah yes it is the uh, it is that it is his tail it is his tail that is the vulnerable part of him okay so this episode's going to be a long one because i keep on falling down and i've now figured out how to kill him I just hope that me falling down doesn't actually reset his heart counter. Because if it does, that's really, really annoying. If it does. Me falling down does reset his heart counter. Okay, you don't want to hit him head on. Don't want to hit him head on. That's something I'm learning. Does that mean I have hearts now? Is that all the hearts I can get from those pots? That's annoying. If that's all the hearts I can get. Okay, so... I'm going to try this again. I'm not going to fall down the middle. I'm going to wait until you go away from the entranceway. And I fell down the edge. God damn it. I'm gonna find I'm gonna find a way to kill you. I am gonna find a way to kill you. I have no idea what I'm gonna do to you though. That's my annoying thing here. I have no idea what I'm gonna do to it. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat this guy. Oh! I got killed because he hit me head on. Okay. Yes, I'm going to end this episode off here, uh, refill my berries, and try this again, because that's the only thing I can think of here. Anyway, until next time, I'm Joe's PH Games. Everybody enjoy video games, and good night.